Welcome to the Holden House Bed and Breakfast Inn in Colorado Springs. I'm innkeeper Sally Clark and we're here for another episode of In the Kitchen. Hi, I'm innkeeper Sally Clark and we're here at the Holden House Bed and Breakfast Inn in Colorado Springs for another episode of In the Kitchen. Today we're going to make a special recipe that's been passed down to me from my family and it's called Eggs Goldenrod and we're going to use uh, Pepperidge Farm puff pastry shells and puff pastry to uh, add a little twist onto that. If you don't have puff pastry available, you can use regular bread and toast it, or you can also use English muffins. So it's uh, really uh, varied and it's a super easy recipe to make. You can make most of the ingredients the night before, and it's great for a quick breakfast or brunch recipe. So welcome to the Holden House, and let's get moving with another episode of In the Kitchen. So we're gonna hard boil the eggs, and um, you can do that the night before and then let them cool off and make them easier to peel or you can do them that morning but it does take a little extra time. I figure two eggs per person. So here I am. Um, here's our ingredients. We have the hard-boiled eggs. We have a little bit of dried tarragon. We have four tablespoons of flour, four tablespoons of the butter. It's salted butter and some bacon crumbles to top it with, and two cups of milk. Most of these ingredients here are for your white sauce. And then here on our tray, we have uh, the puff pastry and the shells that we're gonna use to serve our eggs goldenrod. So here we have, I've set my oven to 400 degrees. It's all preheated. And I have my puff pastry shells and my puff pastry ready to go in the oven. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it in the oven here and close the door and we'll be back in a few minutes to pull those out as we go ahead and make our white sauce. So here I am, I've chopped up some eggs, the hard boiled eggs, and they're ready and we're just going to put them in a bowl and set them aside for the time being. So while our puff pastry sheets are baking in the oven, we're going to go ahead and make our white sauce. So here we have the butter that's all melted. This is salted butter, it's four tablespoons. We have our flour here, which we're going to add the flour in and mix it gradually into the butter until it's completely coated. And you're gonna use a wire whisk because it helps to keep it from getting lumpy. Now as it's over the low heat, we're going to gradually add in the two cups of milk. And don't add them all at once because again, you wanna make sure that your white sauce is nice and smooth and doesn't get lumps in it. So again, do it. I do it about in three separate renditions here of adding the milk in. I'm gonna finish it up here and finish mixing it all together. Then we're gonna turn the heat on about medium and then um, as it cooks, we'll keep stirring it. And that way, when you have your white sauce done, it'll start to get more solidified because you want a white sauce, but you want it to be a little bit creamy. And so that's what we're gonna do right now as our puff pastry shells are baking. And the puff pastry shells are in for about 15 minutes. We're gonna check them in just a couple of minutes to see how they're doing. So you can see here, our white sauce is just starting to get creamy. And you're not going to want it to be too hard. This is just about right. I'm going to check it here with my spoon and uh, see how it is. So it's, it's actually almost the right consistency at this point. So in just a moment, we're just going to turn the heat off and let it sit. And then we can um, reheat it when we're ready to use it. Um, I'm going to wire whisk it just a little bit more. Make sure it's nice and creamy. Doesn't look like it has a lot of any lumps in it, so we're doing pretty well here. So I'm going to turn the heat off 
and um, we're just going to set it aside until we're ready to use it. So here we are. We're going to check our puff pastry shells and, and our puff pastry, and it looks like they're completely done. So here's our puff pastry. We're going to set them out on the counter so here. we removed our puff pastry from the oven. We have our prepared white sauce and all of our other ingredients. I reheated these um, the hard-boiled eggs up just a little bit in the microwave so they were nice and hot. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take, here's the puff pastries, and we're going to take them and split them apart and this, just kind of lay them on the dish. And if you're using the shells instead, we generally wouldn't put these both on the same dish, but I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to lay them out so you can see how both of them look. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our eggs and we're going to just place them on top of the puff pastry. So here we are with our white sauce. We have our eggs over the top of the puff pastry and we're going to take our white sauce and we're going to just drizzle it over the top like this. Really, really lovely. And the next thing we're going to do is take our crumbled bacon and we're just going to put that over the top here. Add a little bit of the tarragon that we had dried earlier. A little paprika on the plate to really dress it up a little bit. And then what I like to do is, especially when I use the puff pastry shells, is to kind of add a few in here on the top so that it gives a little bit better dimension. So here we are. Here's our lovely plate of our eggs goldenrod. In a really nice breakfast setting. Beautiful. So here I am with my beautiful eggs goldenrod, ready to taste test. So here's one of the puff pastries. Make sure you get the white sauce in there. Mmm. Mm, that's really good. So now you've seen it. Eggs goldenrod, Sally's special eggs goldenrod passed down from generation to generation, and uh, bon appetit.